Well, Rob, uh, congratulations on finally getting your UFC Bantamweight Championship. So after chasing for that, after that for so long, and more importantly, you were chasing after Sean O'Malley. So to not only just beat him, but also get the belt in the process, what are the emotions now? First motion was crazy. I cannot control myself. Uh, when Dana White wrapped the belt on me, I can't. And then when I get up, I realize Dana was already left. I wish I, you know, I wanted to shake his hand and f feel it. But now I realize. Uh, now I realize. Uh, yeah, feels great, man. Like I, uh, I beat the other guys. Uh, three former champion. No, Sean is four, four. So and uh, um, normal day, like normal day. I just I have a belt today. That's it. Is that how you saw the fight playing out? Uh, you were obviously pretty dominant at the end. It looked like he caught you in the midsection with that front kick. But other than that, it seems like a pretty flawless performance. It's an MMA fight, and I was ready for everything. I was ready for war. But when I see, I see his power. I see his everything, and he wasn't coming. He was waiting for me. And um, and then the, and I, I I I how tricky he did against Aljo. I tried to do same, you know. Like he, if you don't wanna come to me, I'm not gonna come. And <laughs> uh, so yeah, nothing surprised me actually. You know, he, I make him look normal. What happened in the the very beginning of the fight? It looked like you were yelling at his corner, and the referee had to stop and talk to you. Yeah, I was in and I'm fighting. I'm a professional fighter, you know, I'm focused and uh, it never happened to me. I never pay attention to other corner. But uh, of course, team's voice, I, it was very familiar because he was doing same thing to Aljo. There is the clip video on social media. Everybody, we saw that. And he was doing same thing. Like he was doing very um, disrespectful way. Mirab, you gotta go. He was talking shit on me. And um, oh, I tell him, stop it. And uh, uh, nobody was telling him to stop. He was just keep doing this, you know. And uh, if you do same thing in basketball or soccer, they will do disqualif disqualification for you. But I guess he had not, and that's why I was. But I, I tell referee, I'm sorry, you know. Like referee once referee tell me that's my job, and I, I said I'm sorry. And and after I guess he stopped it because uh, I I, hear, I I still heard like some, but uh, I don't after I don't care. And what happened at the end of the second round? It looked like you were kissing him on his neck, and then you stood up, and he ran at you with like three seconds left. Yeah, so I was, I grabbed his neck, and then he like he has a ten second left, and um, uh, I know he can, he can, he can wait, uh, and uh, he's not gonna go sleep or tap this, and um, and I'm, I wanna make just a little fun, fun of him, you know, and make him. Just, you know, I don't hate the guy, just make fun of him, but at the same time, give a little kiss. I, I to show them I'm dominate. I control this fight, I break you, you know? That's why I was, uh, that's why I was kissing. And, uh, but uh, I had too much fun there, and uh, I guess I lose the time control. And, but when I let go, and uh, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, like, he, he, he followed me and he punched me back on my head, and I, I started protect myself again, and it, that's, that was like, uh, and I, I said, Rapiri again, I'm sorry, Rapiri, I'm sorry. <laughs> and what was it like fighting in the sphere? Because you obviously, you had the entrance, they showed you the hologram, they had this grand display, so did you notice any of that, or were you just solely focused? No, I was thinking, that, oh, what should, what should be, uh, it will be same arena, like always, like, I've been the, the so many arenas, I fight, I sparring everywhere, whatever, it will be normal, but, when I was in luck, I see the, the, the background change all the time and it goes crazy. Uh, it was for sure different and beautiful and like I, I cannot focus my warm up and training. I was watching TV. But uh, once, I, once I heard my music and walk out and um, I, I was fighting and then I, I was feeling normal. You know, I'm a professional fighter and I can fight anywhere. But it was beautiful, beautiful experience. I'm grateful for, for fighting. It was my dream to fight at Spear and Mexican City Defenders that and then history made. And have you seen the videos of back in Georgia, there's like 100,000 people yes. watching and cheering and yeah. going nuts? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, all country knows me when I say yes, and uh, all country supports me. It's a very big deal. Georgia and Mera fighting in the UFC and fighting for UFC belt, and uh, I'm Georgia. I mean, Georgia give me everything, all the power, all the... 
knowledge or like everything. I fight for my country and uh, I, I'm ready for die my country and we all support each other and we are a very tight community and uh, they are very happy for, for me and I, I'm so happy for every Georgians and uh, that's all it's about man. Now today everybody happy in Georgia and I'm, I'm glad I, I, I did this, make my country proud and happy, inspire young kids and uh, it's only beginning. I'm only getting better and I will, I will continue to do the same thing for my country. Will you go to Abu Dhabi for Ilya's fight? Absolutely, yes, I'm going there and uh, uh, I will sit front row and I will support my brother Ilya, of course. I love Max Holloway, but Ilya is my brother and uh, I believe he, in him and uh, I will enjoy, I will enjoy his title defense. And you obviously, the last one for me, you said you'll, you'll take whoever the UFC presents you next, but will you talk to Dana and Hunter and kind of tell them who you would want next? Um, nothing yet. We don't have this conversation, but of course I respect so much uh, UFC, Dana White, Hunter, and uh, whoever they want, I will fight next. But I want to I wanna, I wanna talk Dana more like close, and I want to come his friend. <laughs> Marab, when you fought Peter Young, um, you were quite upset about the Russia sort of conflict. Is that still carrying over to Umar as well? Do you feel the same way towards him? Um, Umar actually not from Russia. He's from Dagestan, but he still represents Russian flag, you know. And um, oh, it's not the same, you know. I have so much respect for Dagestani people, and I mean, I respect everybody. It doesn't matter where you're from, but um, um, no, it's not the same for sure. Like, not it's not about country, you know, um, and. Um, but uh, I mean, uh, this this moment it's not about like, and um, uh, but no, like just I want to fight for the top of the top, you know. Like I think Pigero, the former champion, will be fifth champion on my my list, and uh, he he more dangerous, knockout power, good jujitsu, makes people sleep, and and uh, uh, it's really coming from the three straight win top top guys, you know, and that's why. Uh, I, I, this fight excites me, it makes me motivate, makes me work hard, you know. Umar, like, um, I wasn't, um, um, like, when I, yeah, he's okay, but uh, he, I t I'm telling you guys, from top 15, he only win one fight. And, and that was Corey Sanhagen, so, and we all see what uh, Al Jama is telling did against Corey Sanhagen, make him slip in first round, so. I mean, I respect Corey Sanhagen, but, um, so. Is there anyone you would like to see Umar fight to gain that number one contender? Yeah, uh, maybe against Peter Yan. Yeah. Rob, straight ahead. Straight ahead right here. You've come a long way since these, for these past couple of years. You went from looking for a fight to now becoming the champion inside the inaugural event at the Sphere. What has been the most important takeaway you've learned about yourself on this crazy journey? Um, no rush. So. First, when I come to the United States, I want to fight, 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 but um, you, you need a good training camp, you know? If you don't train good, if you're working and you're just running, you should not take a fight. And then second, when I go to UFC, I was sick, I don't cancel the fight, and um, I can't show a loss. Second fight, I was winning, I wanted to finish the guy, it was fight of the night, I rushed, and uh, like controversial loss again, and after I'm like, I'm gonna take my time step by step, and don't focus for future. Just focus for next fight and get better. And that's what I learned. Just get better and focus for your next fight, and and then the, and then everything will come. Did it feel good to get revenge for your team tonight? Yes, absolutely. See, I make Sean O'Malley look normal, and uh, that's why I wanted to do it, you know. Imagine what Al Jamaistan can do against him if, it, if the fight, if he wasn't lucky and if Margaret did not stop the fight early. So, yeah, uh, it's a fight game, and um, Sean is a tough fighter, but today I'm the best. And Valentina was just in here, and she spoke about the celebration you guys just had in the back. How cool was that moment for you? Yeah, man, Valentina, uh, she's great champion, and uh, I respect her so much. And uh, I've been following her a long time, and uh, um, uh, she asked me to dance, and of course uh, I, I enjoy it, man. This is uh, good moments, good moments for sure. 
Mirab over here. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, Mirab, obviously we know that you and Aljamain, you know, both being at the top of the division, you're willing to be more patient because he had the belt. You had to take more fights that were very dangerous, and it took longer to become a champion. Yes. Now that you have the belt, is the, did the weight make it even better when he finally put the belt around your waist, Dana White? Yes, absolutely. I don't regret nothing. I'm, I'm grateful, and uh, I'm grateful because I have a life, what I have, and I have a friend like Al Jamai Sterling, when I said we are friends, we are really friends, you know, we are sparring partners, we live next to each other in Vegas and we always call each other, go each other, like support each other, we know f each other's family and we not, we are friends and I'm grateful to have a friend like this and uh, guys, I'm going to say again and please understand this, yes, I say this one in interview uh, because the media, you guys was asking me, oh, if you be Josie Aldo, you're going to fight Aljo, I said, Come on, I have, I'm fighting Josie Aldo. How I'm gonna think about like fighting my friend? Why? And let me fight. And then Aljo has a fight coming up against I think uh, Henry Sehudo or somebody. We have to both win. And then when I win, I'm just like, oh, I was shocked. Like I just beat Josie Aldo, and then Joe Rogan asked me again, oh, you gonna fight your friend here, Aljo? I'm like, please, guys, don't ask me this question. Like, but just that you know, guys. Like, of course, I don't wanna fight Aljo. I'm standing, but. I'm not making excuses, but like, it wasn't like they're not, they're not sent that contract. Maybe because of I say, I don't know, but I'm happy. I'm happy and I'm grateful. You've obviously had a lot of fun on social media leading up to the fight with Sean O'Malley. Whoever you fight next, are you going to be able to think of more ideas to sell the fight on Instagram, TikTok, and everything else? If I fight Figueredo, I will make lots of funny videos, yeah. But uh, if it's other choice, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be quiet, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Mer Merab right here <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. I don't know if you've had a chance to see it yet, but Sean O'Malley's already posted his reaction to the loss on sh social media. Yeah, he's got a wrestling singlet on and he's doing a bunch of sprawls. He says back to work. So I just wanted to get your reaction to that. Yeah, man, nothing but respect to him. Um, yeah, I, I forgive him everything, whatever he say to me. Uh, to my friend and to my country, uh, you know, he's he's fighter. He's a hard worker guy. Today was my day, and I just make him normal, and he, he's okay. He, will, I'm sure, he will come back stronger, and he will get better. Thank you, guys. Sakartelo, mikwal khart malesh ukte bit chenes shoutzelit kawak etet ta wala perit inari kenat solit madlobak wellas. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. Guys, as you see, just hard work, man. Just hard work. Nothing. Nothing magic here. Just work hard, focus, and dream will come true.